protest against the government in Sudan, European students taking Fridays to strike against climate change, and the hashtag on social media like MeToo against sexual harassment. What do all of these have in common? These are all forms of contentious politics, which is a type of political expression by making a claim against some form of authority, usually a government. Because contentious politics are becoming more and more important, we investigate how protests happen, who is involved, who is not involved, what are the networks gathering the actors, what are the mobilization strategies, what are the collective identities that emerge from a protest. We also investigate how governments react and what happens when there is violence and repression. Sometimes mobilization can acquire a global impact because the frames or the stories we tell about the claims resonate with a lot of people, such was the case with the Me Too movement. Sometimes protests start for a very specific claim but end up becoming about broader social issues like the Yellow Vests movement in France. Finally, repression almost always demobilizes protests. However, this process is not linear and its outcome is usually unpredictable.